The White House is now asking Congress to provide green cards to tens of thousands of Afghan refugees so that they can stay in the country indefinitely. Joe Biden's also demanding that lawmakers provide more than $6 billion to help resettle Afghan refugees on U.S. military bases. According to the Wall Street Journal, the money would also provide, quote, resettlement benefits to Afghans. Stephen Miller is a former senior White House advisor. He joins us to assess. Stephen, I'm, I remember back in the day when Afghan veterans died waiting in line for health care at Obama Biden's VA hospitals. And then Obama Biden bureaucrats paid them bonuses to cover up these wait lists. Now they're bringing in Afghans, giving them green cards, health care, probably free college tuition, food stamps. That doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Well, President Trump used to say that under President Obama, illegal aliens were treated better than our veterans, which, of course, is true today under President Biden. We can now add to that that under President Biden, unvetted, unverified, unauthorized Afghan nationals are also treated better than our veterans. Let me briefly break down for your audience what is in the proposal. Now, the Biden administration is relying on the fact that many in the media either won't understand or won't care to explain in their newspapers or their other outlets what is actually in the proposal. And you have summarized it exactly and correctly. It provides free lifetime welfare to all Afghan nationals that Biden has flown into the United States to date or that he may choose to fly here at any point over the next 13 months. And we can assume that if that were to be included in the upcoming government funding bill, it would just be continually extended every year thereafter. But that's only just part of it. It keeps going. They redefine Afghan national to mean anybody who has ever lived for a length of time in Afghanistan, even if they're not living there now and haven't lived there in many, many years. <laughs> so in other words, it allows Joe Biden to go to, say, for example, Pakistan, fill planes up with Afghan nationals who've been living in Pakistan for decades, fly them to the United States, and give them lifetime welfare. It also gives them, as you correctly mentioned, green cards. What's a green card? Permanent residency and a path to voting citizenship. You know what else comes with that? Chain migration. So if you bring in, say, 100,000 people, they can then bring in 500,000 people. And that's not all. They also include a catch-all waiver. Get ready for this. A catch-all waiver that allows Mayorkas to waive the statutory, in other words, the legal entry bars on people who are guilty of trafficking, who are guilty of human and sex trafficking, who are guilty of drug crimes, who are guilty of a wide variety of criminal offenses, or who present a public health threat. So in other words, on the same <laughs> day that you are being ordered to surrender to all of these government mandates, all health mandates are waivable for, you guessed it, Afghan nationals. So Stephen, that is a summary of the proposal. Let me get this straight. So if you're an opium trafficker or you're a dude that has a child bride in tow that got child on the brides, plane. Because yep. remember, only 7% of these people we brought over were actually helping us. The rest Correct. of these people were not. They just got to the plane fast enough or the Taliban let them through and then said, you take them. I, probably right. the not Taliban sending was the their best. Exactly. Joe Biden's immigration policy was literally outsourced to the Taliban. <laughs> you think that would have happened under Donald Trump? I don't think so. The Taliban is choosing now who gets to be an American citizen. This project, Jesse, will not end well. Well, I don't trust Biden to vet these people. He couldn't even vet his VP. Look what happened to her. <laughs> That's exactly right. Stephen Miller, thank you. Or everybody. his ATF nominee or anyone else for that matter. Or anybody, right? Thanks so Stop much. Stop the bill. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.